In today's video, we're gonna talk all about how you can use the lat pull down correctly to get big, wide lats. What's going on everybody? It's Ryan from No Limits Fitness Coaching. And one of the biggest mistakes I see in gyms all over the place is people doing a lat pull down exercise. The problem is, is most people don't feel it very well in their lats, they don't have that connection, and they never get the results that they're looking for out of this exercise. Really the reason that they can't get the results that they're looking for, and they usually end up feeling it in that upper back instead of in the lats, is because this exercise with a wide grip really is not suited for building or targeting the lats like most people think it is. The lats are really designed to bring this upper arm portion from up top here down, but more in front of your body. As soon as you bring it out to the side out here, the elbows flared, you get more things like the rhomboids and the, the lower traps involved. The connection to the lat, the activation from the lat, kind of disappears a little bit. You don't activate it as, as good as you possibly could. One of the things to do for the lat pull down to fix this or really to get the connection with the lats, take a shoulder width approach. So right where your body is meant to be, if you wanna just take your arms, go straight out, that's where you should be grabbing the handles. I like to have people do a neutral grip you can go slightly supinated, and that seems to help people get activation as well. But I like to just start with that neutral grip, and you want to be pulling straight in. By doing this, you're going to be able to activate the lats and not the rest of the back muscles, maybe the ones that you're not trying to get to anyways. The second tip for you today for the lat pull down and activating those lats for most exercises, we think of proper range of motion being all the way up and all the way down, but that's not necessarily the case. We wanna look at how the muscle reacts and where it gets activated the best. Best exercise to really get a feel and understanding of how the lats can work is doing a one arm lat pull down. I like to have my clients start with that. It helps them establish the connection with their lats going forward in other exercises. Best way to do this exercise is grab that handle straight above where your arm would already be going. You don't want any internal or external rotation or anything like that, straight up and down. You're going to make sure those ribs are tucked down. You wanna compress the rib cage, make sure it's all nice and in alignment. You're not going to have the scapula extended or retracted to a, a great degree, but really, nice and tight right here. And then you're going to come down until that lat will, will no longer squeeze any tighter. <clears throat> you're gonna notice it's not a very high or very far back range. This is a stopping point and that's the stopping point for myself. Stick with the proper range of motion in this movement. You'll be able to stay activated through the lat in the entire exercise, it'll get fatigued faster, you'll be able to connect with it better and get an overall better exercise by including these tips. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe also. I give these tips and also motivational uh, videos as well. So hit subscribe if you guys are liking this and I will see you next time.